Hi, this is Candia with Embroidery Boss. Thanks so much for joining in on how to build your website for your business. So you would click on files here and once you are on the next page, you will scroll down to the date stamp July 6th and locate article titled Website Host. At this point, you should really have your domain name set aside, written down, reserved with another company, and you should be focusing on a website hosting service. And what this is, is an internet hosting company that allows individuals and organizations to have their website available or accessible via the www, which is the World Wide Web 24 hours a day. Web hosts are companies that provide space on a server owned or leased for use of clients such as myself as well as providing internet connectivity typically in a data center. To put it simply, it's almost like selecting a channel in combination with a monitoring service to air your commercial 24 hours a day. As well as make sure that your commercial is running up and running and airing 24 hours a day. So what this means is if you had a commercial and you hired a channel to keep your commercial running and your commercial was down for some reason, this company should be on it. But in the event that a customer reports to you that your website is not up and running, your web hosting company is the company or the go-to people to call to figure things out. In my opinion, as a new or small business owner, especially home-based business owners, you should learn how to build your website. Now, I realize that this may be on the opposite end of the services that you are providing. However, if you have the time to commit to it, you should do it. When you hire someone to build and update your website because you can't do it or because you won't do it, you are now investing in their company. You are now taking funds away from your company and putting it someplace else, investing it someplace else. And sure, the investment will benefit you in the long run, but so would having the funds available for inventory, software, maintenance, or just a nest egg to keep in the bank for those emergency situations. So it really is a good idea to learn how to build your website. Okay, back to web hosting. Web hosting companies are all over the internet. There are loads and loads and loads of web hosting companies, but you must be very careful with who you select. I recommend searching for ratings and feedback of previous customers, of existing customers on the internet. Keep in mind, these companies are ran by human beings and they may not be perfect, but if they have more bad reviews than they have good reviews, you might want to run. I do want you to keep in mind and be realistic that you're not going to probably see 100% satisfied customers. But out of 100%, if you have 10%, which is just 10 out of 100 that may be dissatisfied or horrible feedback, but you have 90 success stories or 90 satisfied companies, um, customers, then I would say that that's a good ratio. I, I would say that you might want to consider taking a shot with this company. Now, at this point, I am going to pause here because I have three companies that I would like to introduce to you and examine. It is GoDaddy.com, ShopPro.com, and MerchantMoms.com. I have been a customer of all three, and in the next segment of part two, I would like to examine what you are getting in these web hosting plans, the cost of the web hosting plans, what is it that you really need with the web hosting plans,